Hello friends. They say Mark's Gospel is a passion narrative with a long introduction. Indeed, and as Jesus himself says, this is one of the most beautiful moments on his journey to the cross. This is Mark 14, the first 11 verses. Jesus anointed in a house in Bethany. What makes it extra special is the grim backcloth. In verse 1, the chief priests and teachers of the law are scheming to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him. Cut to Jesus, enjoying hospitality in Simon's home. In comes this gatecrasher lady with a gorgeous jar of very expensive, exotic perfume, which she breaks and pours on Jesus' head. The smell explodes over everything and everyone. As ever, when Jesus goes for a meal, there's trouble. There are religious critics in the room who know the price of everything and the value of nothing. Out come their calculators. We're not immune from this. Have you noticed how our news broadcasts always put cash values on crises? This was worth more than a year's salary. For sure, good perfumes are expensive, but our average salaries might be 25000 29000 maybe more. That is some perfume. It might have been an heirloom. It might have been her pension fund. It might have been her savings, what she was relying on for the future, and she brings it and blows it all over Jesus. At Passover, you're supposed to make a special offering to help the poor. But instead, in love, she spent it all on Jesus. The critics turn on her and her extravagant generosity and rebuke her, a vicious, nasty, crushing response. Jesus takes her devotion different, verse 6 to 9. In this one-off, he says, She has done a beautiful thing to me. You'll always have poor people with you, but you won't always have me. He knows what is coming. And he says, She did this to prepare me for my burial. And as a result, he says in verse 9, What she's done will be told wherever the gospel goes. Even here, even today, she has an honoured place as we tell the story. She could see what those calculating critics couldn't. How special Jesus is. How much worth this reckless outpouring he is. He knew how significant a moment he faced and how great a sacrifice he'll be making in just a few days. By now, the money is talking and the clock is ticking. It's Judas's moment to step forward. They promised him money. Judas watched for an opportunity to hand him over. And we wait too, knowing how it will go. Thankful, so thankful, that betrayal will turn to beauty. Sadness to salvation. May God bless you this weekend.